everyone in this video we will discuss the memory based question of csir net and question number 19 and this question is from part b question is suppose a and b are two similar matrices that is there exists an invertible matrix s such that a is equals to s b s inverse now which of the following statement need not be true actually in this question we have to find out the statement which in general not true Options are minimal polynomial of A is equals to minimal polynomial of B, trace of A is equals to trace of B, and A transpose is similar to B transpose, and op last option range of A is equals to range of B. Now for this question, now come to explanation. As we have given that matrix A is similar to matrix B, that is there exists an invertible matrix S such that A is equals to S B S inverse. This also implies that matrix b is equals to s inverse a s now uh, if uh, matrix a is similar to matrix b this implies that the characteristic polynomial of uh, matrix a is equals to characteristic polynomial of b and minimal polynomial of a is equals to minimal polynomial of b as we know that uh, if a characteristic polynomial of two matrix are same this implies that uh, both the matrix have same eigenvalue that is every eigenvalue of a equals to every eigenvalue of b now as you know that trace of a is equals to sum of its uh, all eigenvalues uh, this implies that trace of a is equals to trace of b now uh, option a and b are incorrect because in question we have to find out that option which in general need not be true so option a and b are incorrect now come to option c as we have given that matrix a is similar to b that is there exists an invertible matrix such that a is equals to s b s inverse now apply transpose on both side this is equals to a transpose is equals to s b s inverse transpose that is equals to a transpose equals to s inverse transpose b transpose s transpose now that s is invertible matrix that is s s inverse is equals to identity matrix now apply transpose on both side that is transpose and transpose this is equals to s inverse transpose s transpose is equals to identity matrix transpose is equals to same identity matrix this implies that s inverse transpose is equals to identity into s transpose inverse this implies that s transpose inverse is equals to s inverse transpose so after this simplification this implies this now this implies that a transpose is equals to s transpose inverse into b transpose into s transpose let for simplicity s transpose is equals to p as we know that s is invertible matrix this implies that p is equals to s inverse is also invertible matrix now this implies that a transpose is equals to p inverse b transpose p this is a definition of similar matrix this implies that a transpose is similar to b transpose that is option c is incorrect because in question we have to find out that option which in general need not be true so this implies that option d is correct now come to further explanation uh, also for option d let a matrix a 3 cross 3 matrix 1 0 0 0 2 0 0 0 0 <coughs> now re, uh, range of a is equals to column space of a that is column space of a is the space which is generated by columns of a that is uh, generating set of uh, these three vectors that is column c1 c2 c3 uh, its generating set is equals to uh, top, uh, top, uh, 3 tuple of uh, x comma 2 y comma 0 where x comma y belongs to set of real number now let b matrix such that 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 2 now range of b is equals to column space of b as we know that column space of e is the spanning set of uh, all columns of b that is c1 c2 c3 and its spanning set is equals to uh, all the three tuple of x comma 0 comma 2z where x comma z belongs to set of real number uh, say this star and say this double star from star and double star we get uh, range space of a is 
not equals to range space of B. So this implies that uh, option D is correct because according to given question we have to find out that option which in general need not be true. So option D is correct. Now come to options that is option A is incorrect, option B incorrect, option C incorrect and option D is correct. Now come to next memory based question of CSIR net and question number 20 and this question is from part C question is find the largest positive real number delta such that for the statement that is if mod of x minus y less than delta then mod of cos x minus cos y less than root 2 and options are 2 3 upon 2 root 2 and pi upon 2 for this question we use the result that is cos x minus cos y is equals to 2 time of sin of x plus y upon 2 sin of y minus x upon 2 less than del we have a mode of cos x minus cos y less than root 2 using previous result this implies that mode of 2 time of sin of x plus y upon 2 into sin of y minus x upon 2 less than root 2 after some simplification this implies that a mode of sin of x plus y upon 2 into mode of sin of x minus y upon 2 less than 1 upon root 2 because this 2 when uh, this side that is 2 upon 2 is equals to 1 upon root 2 it implies this now come to further now for mod of x minus y less than delta this implies that uh, mod of sin of x plus y upon 2 into mod of sin of x minus y upon 2 less than 1 upon root 2 say this statement first and uh, as we know that uh, mod of sin of theta where theta is equals to x plus y upon 2 uh, less than is equals to 1 for every x y belongs to r say this in quality 2 now actually in question we have to find out the largest value of delta so using 1 and 2 uh, this implies that uh, mod of sin of x minus y upon 2 less than 1 upon root 2 actually uh, for this we use greedy algorithm of largest value of delta now as we know that if mod of x less than a where a is greater than 0 this implies that minus a less than x less than a so using this we get minus 1 upon root 2 less than sin of x minus y upon 2 less than 1 upon root 2 now applying a sine inverse in all side that is sine inverse of minus 1 upon root 2 less than sin x minus y upon 2 less than sin inverse of 1 upon root 2 as we know that sin inverse of 1 upon root 2 is equals to pi upon 4 and sin inverse of minus 1 upon root 2 equals to minus pi upon 4 so using these two result we get minus y upon 4 less than x minus y upon 2 less than pi now multiply this uh, inequality uh, using 2 we get minus pi upon 2 less than x minus y less than pi upon 2 and uh, we can write this inequality in a form of modulus that is mod of x minus y less than pi upon 2 now compare this with our condition that is delta is equals to pi upon 2 so we get uh, option incorrect option b incorrect option c incorrect and option d is correct